Hey, what's going on, guys? I figured uh, since this was the last day of the uh, VIP demo, I'd pop out and uh, stream a little bit, uh, go through like a stronghold or something, answer some questions. Uh, there's been a lot going on with this game. So uh, if there's anything wrong with the stream, let me know. I'm normally, because you're used to me streaming to Twitch, but I'm streaming to YouTube tonight, and uh, I don't know what the hell the settings are supposed to be for streaming to YouTube. So uh, if the audio is off or if uh, anything else is going on, just let me know, and I'll try to get it sorted out. Normally I use Shadowplay to stream to uh, YouTube, but that wasn't working. All the audio was all screwed up. We're gonna go do a stronghold since uh, I've kind of completed all the missions and stuff, and uh, I don't really know if the uh, there's not much additional content to do in the game at this point. So the uh, the demo pretty much comes in uh, the flavor of you get one like dungeon you can go to, and you also get uh, three missions that you can do. Hey, welcome, Dre. Hope you enjoyed it. So they give you like three missions you can do, they give you a, a dungeon you can do, and they also give you like a free play uh, mode where you can kind of go roam around and check out a very small section of the uh, map that they put in front of you. We'll select the Tyrant Mine and do it on normal. Don't want anything too stressful playing with a bunch of randos or anything. It's bad enough on normal with people sometimes yeah Ben that's never gonna happen that's a good thought man that'd be awesome but uh, that'll never happen when I stream if there are like five people watching that's a plus <laughs> Just because it's so infrequent, I think. If it was on a schedule and it was a more regular thing, I think more people would get into it. But uh, with my work schedule, uh, is the game fun? The game is very fun, Chris. It's really fun. Uh, I, if they get some of the uh, technical issues worked out on it, I think that would be. Uh, I think it would be better. Right now, there are still some issues. I see you're not one for briefings. I like to learn on the go. Can't fault you there. Name's Sev. Corvus is assigned me to conjure scar activity around Fort Tarsus. Since when does Corvus care about scars? Since they started making acidic weapons to attack supply caravans. That's a good reason. I think this is where they're making the acid. Any idea how? I want you to find that out. Stop. Bad oh, idea. Found the relic. Scars have done something to it. It's gone volatile. For those of us who don't speak shit, but that's bad, right? Obviously. Freelancer, you'll need to silence the relic. Really? Alright, we need to silence that turret. There we go. Let's see if we can pick this thing off at a distance. I have not played Fortnite, no. Fortnite's really not my not my jam. And of course, I'm getting murdered. 
I don't know where the rest of the team's at. Oh, shit. So, in this mission, like, what you're supposed to do is try to clear out some of these things before uh, you push too far in. And if your team stays with you, it kind of helps out in doing that. If they don't, well, then, you know, you're kind of fucked. Speaking of getting fucked. Well, we're gonna get out of there. That's not going well. Alright. That thing looks like it's closed down now. Alright. Go grab some of these things. I'll probably stream for an hour or two, something like that. I don't know. It just depends. See if we can be brave and head up here and grab a few more of these. Looks like somebody else is already up here attempting that. Oh, get out of the way. So the first part of the mission, he's supposed to go pick up these uh, little crystals and bring them back to this uh, section here, and it closes down all the rifts and all the bad guys. There we go. Somebody was holding three of them. And once you turn them all in, it kind of closes down all the bad guy activity in the area, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Yeah, but no, I think the game's really fun. I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, they get the technical difficulties worked out with being able to invite people and the endless loading screens of death that show up and all that nonsense. Uh, more server server load issues and multiplayer stuff. I think they get that sorted out. It'll be a real good game. Hopefully there are no more mines in here. And there's the first target of the game. That thing has got to go down. There goes one. Set that thing on fire. There we go. Combos for the win. You gotta be careful when you get into this first mash here like this on this second stage because of all these turrets that are floating around out here. Having a tank. People said this game sucks. Wow. Well, you know what? I think that's a personal opinion. I think what they've done with the game so far is kind of bad. I don't think they were prepared. It's enjoyable to play. I mean, it's fun to play.
here. There we go. Once you turn in eight of these, this whole section of the game changes. You get another big wave of bad guys heading towards you. There we go. Oh yeah. This is where it gets fun. And getting shot is not that much fun. Get some health back here before we die. Oh shit. That was a wasted ultimate. Shit, somebody's down. All right, let's go get our down player. Oh, I'm about to be down. Oh, I'm overheated too. Crap, 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 crap. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get fucked. Oh, let me have my shields back. Give me some health. All right, I will get this guy. Boom. Pro saves. Are the uh, things open up yet? They're not. Oh, don't be setting me on fire. Please don't wipe. I don't know where the other dude who was in here with us went to. I think there's only one person, at other, only other, one other person in here with me at the moment. Yeah, coming over here to save me would be a really bad idea too. There's one who's just getting murked. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Oh, yeah, he's done. Oh, he got the other one up. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, dude, don't try to save me. Don't try to save me. I think you're going to die for it. One big boy down. Oh, shit, we can go retrieve the cores now. Oh, if MC can fly. Be done with this nonsense. to so the last four of these cores are all locked up and you can't get them until you kill off a certain number of guys in here or something somebody's already over there doing it and I don't know why you'd waste time coming over doing that but all right 
right. Oh, the loot. Relic silence. Oh, big chest of blues. It came from below. Of course it did. Hate to say it, but that thing is probably what's producing the eggs. If we don't get rid of the source, the scars will come back and keep making weapons. Bay, find me a way underground. Already done. Uh, I have played with the Colossus a little bit, and, uh, it's not particularly my jam. It's pretty cool, I would say. He's got some serious DPS. I mean, that thing is a tank in the sense of a real tank. Not only can he take damage, but he can really dish it out. Very cool javelin. That's So, with the demo... You get the ranger to begin with, and then once you hit, like, level 13, you get the option to open one more, or unlock one more javelin, and that's it. So you get, like, these tokens where you can use them to buy them, and, uh... So that's the one I chose, because I wanted to see it. No way forward. You'll have to go down. Into the water. Into the water. So yeah, I have played around with it. It's just, uh... I, I uh, played with the ranger the most. So... It's the one I have the most experience with. I've played around with the Colossus in like, uh... Like... Two strongholds. So it's probably about an hour's worth of gameplay. Effectively. And now we wait on the team to get up here. They're all God knows where, doing God knows what. Oh, looks like one's coming. Oh, this section's always so much fun. That's a lot of eggs. You know what they say? You've got to crack a few eggs to make an omelette. I don't want that omelette. What is that? Another relic. Careful, Freelancer. It's unstable. I hate it when they do that. What do we do now? Gather the fragments and silence the relic. Why don't you come over here and try to explode? There you go. Blow yourself up. That's not happening. Thank you, Joe. Thanks for playing! Uh. Heads up, scars incoming! How'd they get down here? Bastards love to borrow. And some of these things, when you pick them up, you can't use your, uh... You can't fly when you're carrying, like, the, uh... Can't fly when you're carrying the rock. Almost done. Only a few fragments left. So in those two previous stages where you picked up the little glowy orb, you could fly around once you had it. But with these, when you pick up these canisters, you can't fly around once you picked it up. You gotta hoof it. Ugh. The spider webs are real. Everywhere. Give it a minute, it should work itself out. Should. Energy readings are stabilizing. 
All good, slowly. Just stay in the center. Any interference will cause the energy to spike again. And of course, when you play with randos, nobody ever wants to stay in the center. The closer you are to the center, the quicker the uh, little meter pops up. The only time to get out of the center is when shit's about to explode on you. Kill for fun. I think that's uh, Bioware's creed when they put microtransactions in this game. Up on the platform. on the platform. Yeah, freelancer, stay on the platform. Oh wow, we got a full team now. See how the signal isn't completely 100% strong? It's because I'm literally the only one standing right on the platform. There we go. Nope. Stay up here and, uh, nope. Alright. What are you shooting at over there? As soon as the th whole thing fills up, all the enemies go away. So all the time that people spend down there d screwing around with all the ads means nothing. They just keep sending ads after ads after ads until the uh, little bar fills up and then all the bad guys go away. But everybody's really excited to shoot stuff. And there go all the bad guys. I'm just getting started. Greens? We don't want any greens. You got quiet. Better to stay that way. The other interesting thing is when you do unlock additional javelins, you'll see your loot change a little bit. So instead of just picking up loot for the javelin that you have, you'll start picking up loot for the uh, other javelins that you have. So like when I unlocked the Colossus, that's when I started getting loot for the Colossus as well. Back into the deep. That's the wrong way. There is a way up. 
just don't know where it's at. This must be it. There we go. Oh, that's just wrong. Remember? It's only a scorpion. That took bigger. A lot bigger. You're not helping. You guys ever wind up doing this one on your own? Remember, you can't attack the boss until the boss gets a health bar. So when it drops here, shooting at it is completely pointless. It would be unprofessional to cut the link, right? Although someone will shoot at it. Next time, I expect big ass bugs to be in the mission briefing. You'd have to show up for that to help. There you go. Shoot at it. Uh oh. You probably don't want to stand right where the boss lands either. That's a uh, pro tip. Although, technically, I was outside the circle, so I shouldn't have got hit. Oh, we're gonna get... Time to run away. A jumper and when she goes up like this if you hover you can attack her while she's going up get some extra damage on her before she goes out of range and whatever side she goes up that's the side all the ads are going to come from You gotta watch how close you are to this circle that she left because when she comes back, she jumps right out in the circle. Just like that. If you're too close to her, it's bad. She'll jump on you. Ads should come from here now.
That's just about as long as I can stay there. At this point, she's almost dead. On that last stage, you just kind of have to forget about the ads and deal with her because once she goes down, it's all done. Otherwise, the ad just keeps spawning infinitely more and more. Jump on her with a little melee to get rid of her body. So what you guys think? Oh, we didn't get the endless loading screen of death. Lots of loot, lots of loot. I don't know if any of it's gonna good, but I'll be interested to see what the public demo is like when they do that on the second. I wonder if they'll be prepared for the load they're going to get with that. If they thought server load issues were bad with this one. <laughs> see what the public demo looks like. Alright. Uh, this is the one we want to... Ooh. Now that we're level 15, we can unlock the rest? Nice. Brilliant choice. Lightning at your fingertips. Okay, so in, at level 13... I got a uh, token to unlock the Colossus. Looks like uh, now I can unlock the other ones. Interesting. I don't know if it'll work like that in the real game or not. I don't know if that's because we're on the last day of the demo. They just opened it all up. Grenade enhances grenade damage by 10% of base damage. No worries, I'm sure you'll make it work. Huh. I think we wind up losing a bunch of uh, armor by doing that. Eek, I don't want to do that. I like not getting murdered every five minutes. Let's see if we got anything good here. Ooh, that one's better. Better shield. So what this is, this is like a little shield you can drop around yourself and your uh, allies. That will uh, wind up giving you some protection for a certain period of time until uh, it takes enough damage that it goes away. So you can see its health is 1044. And then there's this one, which is a similar one. Um, but uh, it winds up uh, increasing all your damage when you stand in it. So it's kind of a... Protection versus damage shield that you can drop down. Let's see if you got any better grenades. What's this? Rare sticky grenade. I want a better inferno grenade. There we go. I want a blue level 19 inferno grenade. That's what I want. Or frost grenade. That'd be cool. Weapons. I think we are... Get any... If the other thing you can't do right now is you can't... Um, Apparently you can. There we go. Filter by machine pistol. See if we picked up a new fulcrum. We did not. I wonder if I should try this one out. I haven't tried these yet. Lower damage. We'll 
We'll give this one a shot. I haven't played around with this one yet. I've only played around with the Fulcrum. And I'm pretty sure there's no scenario in which we got a level 19 Deadeye. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Devastator. Nah, I'll stick with the Deadeye. I haven't seen anything where you can augment your weapons or change your weapon skins. I'm going to guess that that's going to get put in the game at some point. Uh, we're just not seeing it at this point. Uh, some of the other cool things you can do um, are all customization. So once you select what you want to customize, uh, helmet's not a good choice. Uh, let's do chest. So you can uh, wind up unlocking these different uh, torsos that you can equip that change what the uh, what your armor looks like. I'm sure there will be a ton of them in the actual game. Uh, you get coin by completing missions. That's the best way. That's the only way or by completing missions or um, you get it during your uh, stronghold missions. That's the only way I've seen coin get added. And I have a feeling the economy is going to completely change because right now getting coin is really, really slow. Like when I completed a mission, I got like five coins. Uh, when you start the demo, they give you 100 to play around with. And I think when I completed a, um, a stronghold, I may have gotten 10 or 20 maybe. Um, it's not a significant amount. I don't know if it's going to increase greatly in the actual game itself or it's going to decrease and the prices are going to change, but... Right now in the demo, like every one of the unlockables for um, the various pieces of gear are all uh, like 25 coins. So I don't know if that, I don't know how that's going to change in the actual game or if they're going to give you more money. But uh, one of the cool things that you can do, uh, it's pretty nice, is so like on your, um, kind of like the appearance of your armor, you can kind of change the texture that's on it with these little spheres which is kind of cool but you also have the ability to actually change the color of it so you can change the tint and this is not a good example let's go to the secondary one so if you go to the tints you can change some of the colors to your armor and I don't know if this stuff is going to be available or going to be unlocks or going to be based on achievements or trophies or how that's going to work in the actual game but uh it doesn't uh right now this is kind of all unlocked if it uh is going to change in the future who knows this feels like something that they will uh if you if you played um uh, elder scrolls online how, how they dealt with colors and stuff. It was all, you know, you got some by just virtue of playing the game, but a bunch of it was coming through microtransactions and a bunch of other nonsense. But at least you have the ability to add colors here. And then you've got custom colors where you can go in here and kind of change the color real round, mix and match, come up with something that you like. So there's a lot of customization options for uh, changing the way your javelin looks. So that's it's pretty nice. Somebody put some thought into that, which is pretty cool. Uh, and as I said, with these, it's literally just... Let me see if I can uh, show you on one I haven't purchased anything on yet. Uh, it's not going to switch. Yeah, there we go. Switch to the Colossus. Here we go. Uh, if we go up to Appearance now... Uh, that's not what I wanted. Let's go to the chest. So if you go to the Unlock side of things... Here's the uh, thing you can buy, and it says it's 25 coins. You can see that down in the right-hand corner. So if I were to buy this, there's the current one, and then there's the, what the one would look like and if I bought that. So we'll just go ahead and buy that. I don't honestly care. I'll pick that up, and that'll go ahead and give us the option under equip to equip that one. And it allows you to do that, so... So pretty cool stuff. I think somebody put at least somebody put some thought into that. I appreciate that. Uh, I do not want to use this one. I haven't played around with it enough. Oh god. Oh, no. All right, we're good. 
randomly in the game right now, you can just run into loading screens that make no sense, and then you get disconnected, which is, you know, super awesome. Really appreciated. Uh, can I see my ranger? There we go. Didn't we upgrade a new Inferno Grenade? We did. All right. I haven't seen any legendaries, epics, whatever they call them. Uh, nothing past blue have I seen drop. I don't know if it's possible in demo to get anything past blue. Uh, maybe if you're playing on hard. Uh, I had a friend who was doing some hard missions. He said he didn't see anything past blues either. So I'm concerned to do hard with randos. So We'll give this thing another shot. It's nice that they got the matchmaking set up the way they do. Where it auto matches you in. There's not a lot to it. And we'll see if we actually get into the game or if we have to. Oh, we're going to get in, it looks like. So I turned the FPS counter on to uh, keep an eye on how the loading screens are working. Generally, if you have a really, really high FPS on the PC, that is, uh, during the load screen and it doesn't kind of even itself out, you're going to get locked into the loading screen of death. But if it drops back down into the 50-60 range, you know you're probably about to get loaded into the game. But if it's still up at like 1,700 or something retarded like that, it's you're going to get stuck in the... You might as well ult F4 and get out of it. Uh, so I have a level 11 with me and a level 13. Passing in all contact from Corvus. Uh, this will go well. One for briefings. Nah, I like to learn on the go. Oh, yeah. And when you fly through there, and you're the first person in the lead, try not to hit the fucking mines so you don't blow up everybody who's traveling behind you. It's kind of a dick move. Hopefully someone else realizes that we have to take out that tower before it takes me out. fun. Oh, hey, look. Oh, there we go. Now I'm on stuff. Good lord. Can someone else attack the tower, please? Just somebody? Anybody? Oh, server lag. Good lord. Really? Is that what we're doing here? There we go. Oh my god. If you don't work on the towers, you're just gonna get wrecked. So there's a tower there, and then there's a tower at the far end. We'll do it the slow way. Of course, there are guys coming up on this side. Yep, we're screwed. This is not going to happen.
Just shoot the frickin' tower, man. tower hasn't even been touched. I think whoever our third was is gone. Doing this with two people is just a train wreck. And there's our loading screen. Yeah, there was some serious, serious server lag going on there. Latency issues. Normally I wouldn't let this play out for you, but just to put this on record, the endless loading screen of death where you get to 95% on the load and then it just dies. And you have to manually kill the game, you have to alt F4, you have to kill it in the origin client, in task manager, and then only then can you restart the game and pray for it not to do it again when you load back in. It's always great when it happens during the stream, too, because, uh, you know, that's real pro. So you can see how high that frame rate is up in the top left. I I'm sure, I hope that's coming through in the video. That normally shouldn't do that if it was going to actually dump us back into the game, but it's not going to. It's going to get to the end here, and then it's going to make a little bit of a jump. And then it's going to sit right at about the 95% mark and do nothing. Hopefully before the actual public demo, they fix this. Because this is maddening. I've had this happen, like, right as a boss dies in a uh, dungeon, in a stronghold. And then you get no loot, and it just... Yeah, it's fun. There's the jump, and here's where it sits, and it will just sit there. You can let this screen sit here for 15 minutes, and it'll do the same thing. So, we're going to kill the game here. Knock it off in Task Manager and uh, see if we can't spool it back up. See if it starts back up or not. Oh, it's coming back. It's a miracle. Yeah, Danny, I agree on the frames per second. I'm a little disappointed in the uh, overall performance of the game. Oh god, I didn't want to do that. So if you do get kicked out of a mission that fails because of the endless loading screen of death, generally you don't want to try to jump back into that same mission. Oh, we make it lucky. Look. There's an FPS drop. That means it's going to try to load us into the game, maybe. Hopefully. Cross our fingers. At least the loading screen music is good, which I'm sure will get me a copyright strike on YouTube. But, you know, it's alright. Come on. There we go. Ah, it didn't load us back in. It just loaded us into Fort Tarsus, which is fine. Hey, buy the $99 edition of this game and you'll get... Yeah, I don't think you really want to be... That's what's, that, is that what you want your advertising to be? First thing to pop up after you get kicked out of the game in the middle of a stronghold? 
Hey, you could buy the game for $99 and get the Legion of Dawn edition or Legion of Doom edition. Eh, probably not. I'm no expert on marketing, but usually you don't want to try to market buying things to people right after they experience a catastrophic bug in your game demo. It's just, just a thought. Just a thought. I'll give it another shot. See how it goes. Oh yeah, there we go. I think we're getting in this time. I'm one of those people that doesn't really care about frames per second. Uh, you know, as long as I'm getting around 60, I don't have to see it constantly on the screen. Uh, or, you know, 50 to 60, as long as I don't have to see it constantly on the screen. But uh, if you pull it up in these screens and let it cook off for you, it generally tells you whether you're going to get the, the screen of death or whether it's going to actually load you in the game. I'm guessing this is going to put us in the game. It looks like the frames per second have stabilized. Yep. Oh, we got a full team. Patching in our contact in Corvus. Three so melee characters. Alright. Like Can't fault you there. Name's Sev. Corvus has assigned me to Conjure Scar to All right. I'm the, the first one through the cave this time. Since they started making acidic weapons to attack supply caravans, that's a good reason. We think this is where they're to worry about anybody blowing you up. Help. I want you to find that out. Just stop to it. Found the relic. Scars have done something to it. It's gone volatile. For those of us who don't speak shit, that's bad, right? Obviously. Freelancer, you'll need to silence the relic. Yeah, that was just... Someone was blowing up mines behind me, so... The moment I jumped down there, I just got attacked. <clears throat> Alright, I just got blown up. Oh, don't get killed by the uh, turret trying to get me up, homie. Oh, look, server lag again. That guy took no damage from him or I. Somebody's taking out turrets. It's a miracle. so much lag right now i don't know what's going on it's probably the, i'm telling you they get the public demo of this rock and this is gonna get people are gonna rage over this i i don't know how many more times people are gonna be playing the public demo but i don't know why twice as many 10 times as many we're three days into this one and uh they still haven't sorted out the uh these, these rubber banding issues and this latency. This is just crazy. Now, there's like 15 guys back there now. Alright. Shields up. That's another thing you can use the shield for.
at least somebody started taking out uh, turrets up there. That happened early on, too. At least there's a silver lining. Somebody took out the rocket turret. Uh, how brave am I? Oh, I wish I had really good radar. Oh, maybe you can only carry three at a time. I thought I'd grab that fourth one, but... Latency, God only knows. Alright, there's three. Uh, we're more than halfway there. Uh, apparently there's one really close by, but I don't see it. I do see that turret, though. God, where is the last one at? I'm just going for it. Here it is. No, 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 no. Oh, evade. Avoid flying into spider webs, too. They'll take you right out of the air and overheat you. That should have solved that problem. I don't think we're making it past phase two with this group. Not that these guys aren't doing well, it's just I think there's only three of us in here now. Turret time. Set the turret on fire. 
Come on, let me set the turret on fire again. There's one. There's two. Alright. Try to move around the back here. the rocket turret's bad. I don't think I can get my shot over there. Oh, there we go. Oh, combo. Oh, no, don't shoot me. Oh, nice job. Supposedly there's another one around here somewhere. Somebody must have just grabbed it. There we go. Now is when the fun begins. You better watch your back, homie. It's not happening. Oh! So close. That was not lag. That was just me being stupid. That's what happens when you get cocky. At least these guys can't come over and, like, step on you and permanently keep you from being able to be, uh, repaired. I don't see our other, I think getting like an on-screen notification, like a pop-up or just something like an audible warning when somebody goes down would be helpful. You can see it on your HUD at the top if you're scrolling around, but uh, if you're not paying attention, it's real difficult to take notice of that. Hey, Theron. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Oh, he's going to get screwed for trying to pick me up. Yep, he just went down. Yep. I think that is a mission fail. I don't see our other dude anywhere. Normally can see him in white on the screen, although these things are shooting at something. Somebody's shooting at them. Is he up top? Oh, there he is. Oh, I wouldn't go down there, homie. 
I would go down there. Apparently he just wants to solo the mission, which I'm fine with, but I don't think he's going to be able to do that. The big guys really aren't the problem right now. It's these sniper guys, the Scar Elites, those guys with the machine guns like that. Those guys are the problem. They're on, yeah, I think uh, it'll be a good game until then. I, I just, I don't know. It, the multiplayer issues going on with it right now, just the network issues around it uh, are a little disconcerting to me. This is more alpha than demo, uh, honestly. It's like one of those things where, yeah, we tested it internally, but ultimately we didn't really... Uh, they should have opened this up as like a private alpha or a private beta and tried to get some more diverse testing done than uh, just testing it internally and then calling it a demo and popping it out here and then finding out that things they thought they fixed weren't fixed and bugs they thought they resolved were still around and I just, I don't know, I'm just I'm a little disappointed in whatever process they're using right now for that. Dude, you're not getting in those cages until some more of this stuff dies. So, hanging out over there and gonna do the job. Running to me would be less problematic if you flew to me instead. Oh, you're just gonna get fucked by that elite. find out what else we can kill before we get those cages open. Hopefully as soon as some things die they'll start showing up on the map that we can get after it. Oh shit. Not good. There they go. They're open now. I think you have to kill a couple of those big guys with shields, and once you do, that's what opens them up. Should have really waited for my shield to come back before I did this, but... YOLO, right? fun to kill shit, but when the game gives you a break like that, where if you just turn some stuff in, it'll wipe the rest of the bad stuff out. You know, why not? Relic silenced. Think we're... What was that? It came from below. Of course it did. Hate to say it, but that thing is probably what's producing the eggs. If we don't get rid of the source, the scars will come back and keep making weapons. Come on, we just did that with three people. Already done. Should have gotten some purples out of that or something. I'm impressed. I didn't think we were getting through that stage of the mission. It was good stuff. There. That door should lead underground. 
Why is there a door to a cave? To keep something out? Or a pain. <laughs> Did you just yell? Oh, the big bad Corvus agent's not a fan of scorpions. Well, your prophets, their likability isn't up for debate. If you insist. There we go. Look for the lights. Look for the lights. Wow. Follow the lights. Peaceful down here. Scorpions can't swim, right? Don't worry, Sam. I won't let them get you. Yeah, well. You know, they said that the game was like six weeks, like the demo is six weeks behind in patches. I think that's what the quote I read. So, um, but the follow-up I saw from one of the Bioware execs, like the VP of marketing or something, I don't know, was, you know, a lot of the bugs that we're seeing during this part of the uh, demo was unexpected. Not that I think any bugs are expected, but they were saying they didn't expect the, you know, the servers to perform the way they're performing and the latency and, you know, some of the bugs they had seen, but, you know, they saw them on a few people's machines inside when they were testing and now they're seeing them all over the place or they didn't say all over the place. They really played it down, but. Heads up, scars incoming. How'd they get down here? Everybody I know has had the uh, same bugs I've had, so I don't know how you don't see that stuff internally, but, you know, whatever. Enemies disappearing and reappearing. I had a whole section of mines disappear and then reappear one time. That was fun. Almost done. Because they reappeared when I was literally right in the middle of them. I think they'll get it sorted out, though. I mean, you gotta look at, like... Think about Monster Hunter World. When that first hit PC... That... I'm sorry, the multiplayer bugs they had with that game were just insane, so... I think they're just fine on their feet. I think if everybody just kind of takes a breath, accepts that it is what it is, and gives them some time to sort it out they'll get it taken care of i mean they have a vested interest in making the game good and they also have a publisher like ea behind them that's you know in their ass constantly saying oh this has to be done and it's got to be done now and it needs to be done yesterday and they're like oh well you know it's kind of you know we got this bug oh, i don't care you know we got a release on this date and the demo got to go live on this date and it's got to be a stable build that, you know, makes it out, and it just, it's a constant battle with that kind of stuff, so, I, kind of one of those is what it is scenarios. I don't want to get attacked by those guys. Hey, three lights up. More scars. I know. These new guys are powerful. All right, everybody hey, report to the platform. And there's notes everywhere. Give it a minute. It should work itself out. Should. Energy readings are stabilizing, albeit slowly. Just stay in the center, and interference will cause the energy to spike again.
Oh, you don't want that thing up here. No, 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 no. Tim. I mean, everybody's freaking out about, you know, oh, this is, let's be honest, this isn't Fallout 76, all right? I mean, I don't see Bioware pulling a Bethesda on us with this game. I just don't. It has the possibility, but I, I just, I just don't see it happening. I think they have a vested interest in this becoming a franchise game, and... With that thought in mind, I really think they're gonna do they're gonna do good things with it, or really try. You can only anticipate so much in the dev cycle, and but I still reiterate my belief that there should have been a private alpha, private beta, something like that. I think that would have made uh, much more sense. Just to get a larger population of more diverse users in the game to see how their network and ISPs and PCs and video cards and everything else interacted with the servers. And yeah, I mean, the gameplay is good. I mean, there's definitely... If you can get in, for the most part, the game plays. Which is a plus. Oh shit. I just hope everybody will give it a give it a break and uh break's the wrong word, but just take a breath. Obviously, the people like IGN and GameSpot and all the ones getting paid to like it are going to like it, but I think for the rest of the world, taking a breath, letting things shake out. We're still a few weeks from release. The public demo will help more, although I have worries about that if they don't apply some patches before then. I think it'd be in their best interest to put a few patches out if they can, can like you know, guarantee a stable build. That way the public demo doesn't suffer from some of the same issues they're having now around latency and, you know, server loads and stuff. But you also take the chance of introducing more bugs if you start changing whatever code the demo is based on that you know at least is a stable build of the game performance issues beside the fact oh let me up here oh my god so this is another issue that I haven't uh, mentioned this can be kind of annoying luckily it doesn't kick you out when that happens but uh, you can get into the endless screen of uh, an endless bug screen. Yeah, like where it just is constantly prompting you. I do like that they chose not to completely kick you out when that happens. Ran into that la uh, on Friday night, I think. Where it started getting prompted like 15 times in a row, over and over and over again, and just couldn't couldn't do anything. As I said, it's a demo. It's free. I mean, 
they're giving you the chance to do some playing. You're giving them the chance to work out some bugs. It's pretty dark in here. Throw down a flare. It'll help. You need freelancers of twos for everything. On the VIP side, I understand people are complaining because they technically got it because they paid for it and they're, they're an Origin Access Premier member or something like that, but still, one of those things. Oh, that's just wrong. I think it's going to be two of us for this man. There's, if we get through this, I'll be, I'll be impressed. A little bigger. You're not helping. I actually don't know why the uh, door's not opening. Usually the door doesn't open when you don't have uh, enough players in. Like when your team is like screwing around behind you. Uh, what if I throw a flare at the door? Okay, well... Um... Maybe? No. Okay. Well... My other player just left. And there's no scenario in which I solo this. I mean, I'm a pro, but you're not soloing dungeons in uh, any other game. So, uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's go ahead and back out. Actually, the game just backed me out. Good enough. And right back to the air retrieving anthem live service data. So back to the load screen we go. Yeah, Tim, it is much more fun to play with friends. Much more fun to play with friends. I played with two uh, on Friday, and it was much better than playing with random people. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've, I've had occasion to get in with a good group of people who know what they're doing and aren't just noobing it up, but uh, in general, playing with friends is just so much better. Plus the communication aspect of it, you can hop on Discord and talk through it, so. Connecting to online. Shadow. Yeah, kinda. From what I heard, they've only done, like, serious internal testing. They haven't done any of, the, like, a private alpha, private beta, where they open it up to some external people. And I mean real people, not like, hey, IGN, test the game for us, because let's be honest, that's not going to work. Okay, well, uh, connecting to online services doesn't seem to be happening. So let me kill the game here. See if I can restart and see if that does anything. Oh, task manager, where art thou? It may be nine o'clock and they just decided to say, we're done. We're done. I'm gonna give the give the demo a break until next weekend when we do the VIP or do the open demo. Honestly, I just wanted to show it on the channel, and, uh, uh-oh. Thank the servers have now been turned off for this time. I told you, for 9 o'clock, yep. Thanks for trying out the Anthem demo. Servers have been turned off for the demo weekend. Follow us on at Anthem Game, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, yeah. But anyway, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's a good game. I think it's going to wind up being a good game. Uh, let's keep the VI open all week until the open demo. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun, Tim? Yeah, uh, I think they're going to digest a lot of what they learned this week. Monday morning is going to be very exciting at, uh, at, at BioWare on these dev teams and these network teams, uh, when they have their morning stand-up meetings. Uh, it's going to be, uh, going to be an interesting, uh, 
retrospection on uh, kind of how things went and uh, what they need to do to get ready for uh, the public demo, which starts next Friday, by the way. So uh, the uh, the public demo will be open next Friday, and hopefully they uh, get some things sorted out. If not, if still, if enough people can get in and just play around with it, hopefully that'll give us some more uh, telemetry on what's going on in the game, and they'll be able to get things sorted before the actual release, which I think is like the 20th of February or something along those lines. So they have a few weeks to make some adjustments, and um, you know we'll probably get a big first day patch that'll come out, and that'll that'll come out and uh you know resolve a lot of this stuff so when people first log in on day one um things will get sorted so i i'm, I'm cautiously optimistic i want to be positive about it i want to give them a chance you know bioware is my my company uh they they let me down with andromeda but uh, you know i'm a big fan of dragon age inquisition and have high hopes for the fourth one and if i see them seriously get behind anthem and do good things with it it will uh, allay some of my fears uh, after seeing the uh, shit show that was Mass Effect or Andromeda when it came out. And I don't know, I want to say kind of still is. I went back in and played. It was, was kind of good, but uh, it wasn't as bad as it was at release. But um, yeah, I, I think if they, they work out some of the stuff with this game, it'll give me more confidence for what Dragon Age 4 is going to look like. Um, are you hooking up with the open play? Uh, open play. Tim, I don't know what the open play is. You were talking about the open demo uh, next Friday? If, it, if the open demo next Friday opens up, I'll probably pop back in and play again. I'll probably play a different uh, Javelin to start run through missions with. It's tough to start a brand new Javelin on like a stronghold because you're really not pulling your not pulling your weight, not knowing what's going on. I don't know what they're going to do with Dragon Age multiplayer, Shadow. Hopefully it's not the same as they did in Inquisition, because that was, they really phoned that in, in my opinion. Um, but I look at Andromeda multiplayer in comparison to Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, and it is effectively, it's the same thing. Like, they didn't change anything. It's the same concepts that are being pulled forward. Um, it's just running on the new Mass Effect 4 engine, which I, Secretly, I don't think they've said it, but I honestly believe that this is running on the same engine that they used for Mass Effect uh, Andromeda. Um, a lot of the stuff operates the same way. A lot of the stuff looks the same. I mean, it, I, I feel like there are some real close ties between this and Andromeda. So I think we the engine behind this maybe was, was running Andromeda. Maybe upgraded a little bit so that the uh, NPCs don't look so freaky, but... Uh, We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's going to wrap us up for this evening. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I really, before they shut down the servers, I didn't think they were going to do it this early. I wanted to get out there and uh, at least put up uh, some sort of video, let you guys see the game a little bit, get in, do some playing around, answer some questions, um, and go through that. Uh, Bork, I have heard the exact opposite. When the um, game comes out, you... Do, oh, you mean when the open beta comes out? Oh, that you get to keep your javelin. I don't know if they're going to carry over or not. I haven't heard one way or the other. I know in the actual game releases, you don't get to keep anything uh, at all. Nothing carries over, which is fine. I mean, they're starting you at level 10 in the demo to begin with, so what's the big deal? Um, at least you got to see what was going on, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But as I said, that wraps us up. Uh, you guys got questions, comments, or concerns? Think of anything. Once the video goes live, hit up the comment section and uh, leave something down there and let me know. As I said, I've spent probably 10 hours in game, so I've gotten a good look at a lot of the stuff and can answer some basic questions. I'm no expert by any means, but uh, happy to dive in and uh, speculate all, all you guys want on what's coming. And uh, I'll let you know if I hear anything else. Uh, the Lamar, the controls. The controls are good. I like the controls. Uh, I've been playing with a, uh, a controller, which all my friends have been ribbing me about because uh, I should be playing with keyboard and mouse like they do. But um, I'm a big fan of the controller in Mass Effect games and uh, really like using the controller uh, on this as well. I think it plays pretty natural. The one thing I that will, will complain about the controller, I would say, is that you can't remap any of the buttons on the controller using the in-game stuff, but you can on the keyboard and mouse. 
Um, you can adjust the sensitivity on a lot of the stuff if you're playing with keyboard and mouse, so that seems to work well. Um, all in all, I think the controls are good. I think they really work well. Um, as I said, I have some gripes about where the buttons are on the controller, but keyboard and mouse, uh, I played with two friends on Friday and they were both using keyboard and mouse. They didn't, uh, there was a lot of griping about certain things, but uh, the keyboard and mouse controls really weren't one of them. Once they got tuned in on the, uh, the sensitivity, uh, I think they kind of settled in and liked it. So that's been, that was the experience I heard. So, uh, all right, I'm going to get out of here, guys, before I get any more questions. Uh, really, this wraps us up. Uh, yeah, guys really do have any more questions. Leave them for me in the comment section when this comes up, and I'm happy to uh, look into stuff for you. Let me know, let, let you know my thoughts. Uh, I may put a, a public post up to just kind of digest what went on this weekend, so keep an eye out for that. But there will definitely be some more uh, Dishonored Knife of Dunwall coming. The next release should be tomorrow, and it will be... Uh, the first uh, kind of flesh and steel, not really flesh and steel, but melee combat mayhem uh, of all the missions. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Well, you guys all have a great week next week. And uh, if I can get in on the demo next weekend, maybe we'll do some more uh, live streaming of Anthem. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.